Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're returning to Ukraine. You guys have asked us if we could use modern attack aircraft to clear the huge minefields in Ukraine. So let's get straight on with it. We have a first example here of a minefield that I've set up. We have first 10 challenger tanks traveling down a road they must use this road because the grass areas have all been churned up with mud and they are nay on unpassable but in the way spread over a distance of about 1500 feet are 66 tm 62 anti-tank mines credit to ch for setting these up for us they are dug into the road and explode with a huge warhead they are set in clusters of six every couple of hundred feet. First, let's see what happens without any intervention. You can probably guess there's going to be explosions. Our Challenger tanks are moving to the front line, completely unawares. Oh dear. A thing appears to have happened. In our simulation, you can actually see them above the concrete, but obviously they would be hidden in real life. That's it, all 10 challengers dead. Obviously they wouldn't just charge into the field like that. But it's an example of how deadly those mines can be. Now, let's see what happens if we implement some air cover once the minefield has been spotted. We're going to use what we think is the best for this job, and I hope you will agree, an A-10 Warthog US attack aircraft. I think this is perfectly suited for the job. We'll try four variations. First, we'll try just with its gun. It has a 30mm multi-barreled GAU-8 cannon firing 30 mil rounds at a very high velocity. I'm choosing high explosive incendiary. Let's see how that does for clearing a path in the mines. Then we'll try a variety of bombs. First of all, we'll try cluster bombs, CBU 87s with over 200 sub munitions per cluster bomb. Then we'll try traditional high explosive bombs, 500 pound bombs. And last, we'll try rockets guys i've actually not tried this because i want to be surprised in this of those four variations of weapons which you think will be best if any at clearing a minefield my money would be on the cluster bombs mm -hmm. my money's cluster bombs based off of the spread as well as that i should say these would be used for path clearance only you wouldn't clear an entire minefield like this you would use engineers for that but just to get a path through a minefield as quickly as we can is what we're interested in today right uh standby we'll start with gun right this time if everything works they should spot the minefield in front of them guys and stop and put up smokes let's see if it works oh no there are some mines ahead of us slow the tank column down send the smokes look at that it worked right we are a few tens of miles away in our a10s with our guns fire please take us off get us to the ip and report back fire rolling ball rolling dark rolling simba rolling rear end charlie rolling Hurry up, caboose! Airborne. Look at that, no crashes, guys. I'm so proud. Don't get used to it. Mm. Right, everyone airborne, guys. Flaps up, check. Master arm on, gun pack off. Gun check, sorry if I hit anyone. Guns are good. All right, let's get a bit more altitude, maybe 6,000. And let us know when we're at IP. Yep, give us a little headroom to catch up. Yeah. 
Right, we're at the IP, guys. Please turn right, head towards the smokes, on radial, and straight between the smokes. For God's sake, don't hit the tanks, guys. Whoa, hey. That was not a part of the agreement before mm -hmm. we took off. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about this is the first smoke completely obscures the second smoke, so that's going to be interesting. I'm an A-10. Tanks are my natural food. Ah. Challenge your friends, not food. All right, on radio. Put them in reverse. <laughs> Here we go. Roger, I got split on the smokes. This is going to be stupid. Probably it's just pretty really stupid. Ahead. Right, viewers, can we destroy those mines? I am really excited. I can't tell. Hmm. Three miles. Two miles. I'm going to start laying it up. Yes, we're getting hit! Look at it blow up, guys! Oh, the science oh, is there oh, for all to see! 54 mines yeah. down! <laughs> 66 mines down! I'll get some better reviews of that in the replay, but that was freaking awesome. Yeah, a uh, gun really works really well, viewers. Boys are still straightening for fun. <laughs> All right, do you do we roughly know how many are there? Yeah, 66 Simba, and we killed 66. Uh, uh, you, nice. Scoreboard, yeah, 100 percent. Absolutely amazing, guys. Welcome back, viewers. Now 500 pound bombs and a hell of a lot of them. One rolling. Three. Simba. All right, you heavy SOB. One airborne. Two. Three. Simba's up. Your call sign is people's champ. It's true. Ooh. Don't hit those trees, Simba, or you will not be the people's champ anymore. Rear airborne. Alright guys, now, although these are aerodynamic bombs, this plane doesn't go very fast, which means we need to dive in quite deeply. So we're going to have to climb to quite a high altitude, probably above 6,000 feet. Otherwise, just set your junk up. Oops. So what were you doing to go into a default bomb without going through the Dismas? I'm just going CCIP, master mode. I'm going uh, DMS, right to select the bomb. Master arm on, ready to bomb. All right, in we go, Viewingtons. All right, number one, make sure you release all yours in the first quarter. Sink it in line. Obviously, wait till about the second quarter of track. This is somewhat of a danger close. Yep. Right, on radio. 8,000 feet, that's pretty optimal. All right, diving in. Running in. All right, this is gonna be interesting, viewers. Place your beds. I don't see why this wouldn't work. Although, that said, this would destroy the road even worse than the landmines, so we're probably not really helping at all here. Oh, mine didn't come off, dog on it. Oops. Second guy, you're up. Cat bombing in five. Two. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Oh 
comms out. Ladies and gentlemen, the original bomb truck, I'll give you the A10. Oh, 66 oh, destroyed oh. already. Oh, my. <laughs> Jesus. Now, you've absolutely... You know what that reminded me of? An old 1960s arc light raid from Vietnam. Right. Um, has anyone else still got to bomb? Go on, Poosh. There's nothing to bomb, but do it anyway. I've got to have viewers. All the friggin' bombs. Oh, nice. Very nice, guys. Next, viewers, we have cluster munitions. CBU-87, each with over 200... High explosive sub munitions. This should be interesting, guys. Off we go. One's airborne. Ready then, guys. Let's go and do some kind of thing. Just remember, you're going to want to be almost over top when you start your dive. These are non aerodynamic bombs, viewers. They pretty much fall straight down. So, um, I probably won't get to show you, viewers, but they're really interesting how they work. They, um, they drop and then they spin. You can vary the amount of spin that they have. The more spin they have, the further the sub munitions will fly from the master bomb. A real interesting piece of kit. All right, guys, bomb at wheel. Remember, there is a uh, minimum release height for these bombs. And rolling in. There's a bit of wind, but rolling in. Bombs away. Bombs away. Um. Mine missed, I think. Huh. I got a bunch. Mine have just dropped. Oh, mine have just hit. Oh, 59. Wowie, look at that. That was my lot. How do you feel about the FPS? I've used all of mine. Anyone else anyone else still to bomb? Negative. Wow, wow guys. We uh, did worse with the cost munition. That's odd. I, mean, I didn't worked. drop mine. Okay, they are very close to the rear or the furthest away smoke. Bombs away. Bombs away, viewers. Let's see if I can see the bomb. Oh, too late. He hit him. Oh, oh, six, 65. 65. 65 viewers. Don't worry, I'll find the last one. Oh. Yeah, 45% of the last one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that it was the hardest to do. We'll talk about that afterwards. Uh, let's finish up with the rockets, guys. Finally, viewers, a whole bunch of high-explosive anti-tank rockets. Two drawn. Three. Nobody likes a backseat driver, mm -hmm. except for Cat. Mm -hmm. Airborne. All right, rear airborne, kind of. One is in hot. She's following. Great. Simba's just doing a thing. Mm. Watching the game. <laughs> it already begins. Oh, great guys, great. 48, not one pass. Amazing. Oh, yeah, 66. <laughs> pull up, pull up. Oh, 
How many rockets have I got? Now, pull up, pull up. Why won't they stop? Uh, right, this is like too easy. All right, guys, that's that done. Right, um, Simba's sort of one other way that we might want to take them out. So just one more reset, please, guys, and we'll discuss our findings on the way. Welcome back, viewers. One more idea from Simba. Well, we've tried gun, we've tried rocket, we've tried bomb, we've tried cluster bomb. What if we use the aeroplane itself? It's a very tough, rugged, reliable aircraft. Can we use it as a minesweeper by using our face? I don't know, let's find out. Off we go, guys. Uh, on the way, we're going to talk about the results. Cannon absolutely smashed it, no problem at all. Those 30 mil rounds just eviscerated everything in the area. Uh, the bomb, the 500 pound bombs worked as well. Absolutely, absolutely destroyed them. But to be honest, they probably created even worse problems because they would have just created a load of craters and mud, which would have caused problems for the tanks. The cluster bombs was the strange one and the dark horse. The cluster bombs were actually harder to use. Now my thinking is that although there were lots of submunitions guys and I won't know until we go and look in the kind of tack view, each uh, submunition is not very explosive and probably didn't have the power to set the mines off. That would be my assumption and the rockets did absolutely fine. They were probably the best of all to be honest. Uh, any other thoughts on the cluster bombs and whatnot? Oh. No, I think you pretty much figured that one out. I you think all of them, you're still going to have the problem with a bunch of holes in your road. Yep, but one of you was saying as well that real land uh, weapons are used to clear real uh, minefields. Who was it? Was you, Push? Yeah, that was a uh, actually not a documentary. It was an action show from the 60s about a bunch of uh, Brits and Americans and Jeeps running around shooting Germans in uh, North Africa using their uh, machine guns to clear the minefields. Yeah, it worked pretty well. I'd shoot one and then the rest of them would blow up. I think that's what's happening here, guys. You shoot one and uh, the, yeah, the rest of the strip kind of blow up. Oh, well, on like anti-personnel anti mines, that, that can make sense because they're easily pressure sensitive. But modern tank mines take a substantial amount of pressure to set them off. They're designed to explode on tanks and not like cars. Some are magnetic as well, aren't they? They uh, sense the magna, the, uh, the the metal. There's probably other methods as well that I don't know about. All right, guys, last right. one to land is a rotten egg. Oh, I was planning on being last. I was just going to orbit and watch the front, watch the fun. Right, I suppose you're going to tell me there's some uh, telegraph poles down there now. I was not going to inform you of that fact because huh. I wanted to see how you dealt with it. Not very well is the answer. All right, first one up, call yourself. Cap Let us know who's sacrificing themselves for the greater good. Final half mile. Yeah, final, fires on final from the opposite side. Or from the chally side. Yeah, cannonballs turning on final from the challies. I can see this not going well Ooh. for anyone. First guys. one's over the smoke. What could go wrong, viewers? Wheels down. Oh, it's Nothing. not setting them off, it's not setting them off. How about that? I wonder why. Altitude. Too light. Oh, we hit something. Oh. Here's something. Maybe they're too light. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't call this aircraft light exactly, but interesting, guys. Maybe the wheel just isn't in the right place because they're very small wheels, aren't they? Look at that, viewers. You wanted science? You get freaking science. Look, I can see the mines. Witness me. Witness me. I'm landing over the mines. No. Right, I'm going back and. Doing a thing. Uh oh. Oh, nope. Somebody got taken out by really? six mines. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, bollocks. Wow, it did work. I guess you've just got to have the wheel just in the right place. Uh oh, you're going to hit a tank. You're going to hit a tank. Didn't think about that one, did you? Um, you've got to have the wheel just going over the mine, I suppose, guys. Summary viewers, use a gun, it's fine. Use bombs, it's fine. Probably don't use uh, cluster bombs, they don't work very well. Use rockets, it's fine. Do not use your aircraft. It's a terrible way of mine sweeping. But it's fun. Go on, Simba. Try and put one of your wheels over that mine. Not too close to the wires. Not too close to the wires, Simba. Great. Well done. Let's see how that was a landmine. We killed six. We killed six. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that and bye-bye.